It's the summer of 1987, and at the Toei Manga Matsuri Film Festival, a quadruple film feature is playing. It includes Metalder the movie, Saint Seiya the movie, Dragon Ball Sleeping Princess in Devil's Castle, and Hikari Sentai Mass Man the movie. Saint Seiya! Dragon Ball! Mask Man! Metalder! Mask Man the Movie is the theatrical production for the 1987-88 Super Sentai series of the same name. The film takes place sometime after episode 19 and tells a self-contained story that is not necessarily canon to the broader series. The story centers on Lelai, a mermaid who lives in the Sea of Tears a sea that is formed from the tears of millions of humans over the course of millions of years. The underground empire has discovered that Lelai's unique song can trigger earthquakes and is now planning to use her to conquer the surface world. <laughs> However, one of these earthquakes accidentally drops the Mask Man team near the Sea of Tears. Here, they run into Prince Egan and Lelai, which leads to an underground battle. After protecting Lelai from a cave in, Takeru helps her see that she is being deceived by Prince Egan. Now it's up to the Mask Man team to save her and defeat the Underground Empire. Like many of the older Super Sentai summer films, Mask Man the movie is essentially a slightly higher budget theatrical episode. With a 20 minute running time and an unambitious execution, you will be hard pressed to tell it apart from one of the standard TV episodes. One noteworthy historical contribution that this movie made to the Super Sentai series was its opening dance scene. This opening was a departure from previous Super Sentai movies and an unexpected fun element for those who attended the live screenings. While it wasn't immediately built upon, it would serve as a template for future Super Sentai dances that would become more of a mainstay for series in the years to come. The final battle scene is consistent with what they were doing in the show during this time, but some of the cinematography lended itself to a more dramatic presentation that made everything feel bigger than it did on the TV series. Overall, this is a surprisingly average movie for such a great entry in the Super Sentai series. However, if you like this particular period of tokusatsu history, it's a fun and entertaining watch that captures a lot of what marked this transitional period for the series. <laughs> 